Hello, Area 66. This is April Allen. I work at Westside Middle School, part of the new eMERGE secondary team. And today I'm going to do a quick little intro on Symbaloo, which you can see up here. It uh, spelled just like it sounds, Symbaloo.com. Um, a side note before I go into that, um, I'm using Screencast Omatic to make this recording video, which is one of my favorite apps to use especially if I want to have visual and audio instructions for students that I can put on Blackboard if I'm having a sub and know in advance, um, or just different things throughout the uh, school year. But today, Symbaloo.com is something that I learned in a grad class last spring and took it to my PLC during our summer writing hours, and several of them liked it enough that they started it for themselves, and so I thought other people may enjoy it too. So Symbaloo is really just a way to organize your bookmarks predominantly, but you can use it for a wide variety of things. So you've got a couple options when you go here. You can create an account. Um, I have a free account, but there are there is a pro version that costs a little bit that has other functions. But I will just sign in to my regular account. So you can see the things that I have added. Um, my goal this year is to add a lot more and get all of my bookmarks moved over. But you've got all these tiles here and you can drag them as needed, color code them. These tiles can be website links, they can be YouTube videos, they can be MP4 videos that you've got on your laptop, images, really anything that you have on your computer can be converted um, and saved onto Symbaloo, which, you know, with these new laptops and looking for ways to save space um, on our computers, this is a great way to back things up um, without having to actually take your own storage. But what I've used it for so far is really just bookmarking, um, and I look forward to exploring a little bit more throughout the school year. So looking at mine, the first page is one that I started with for my class, um, and so I color-coded ones in blue that dealt with the Boston Massacre, Revolutionary War, that was the topic uh, that my class was covering at that time. And then ones in pink were more just general, and then things in yellow and gray were TED Talks or things that were specific to that course. If you look up here on the top row, you can add the different um, tables here. So the curiosity was the class. I have a weekly marker board one that I've started, which is a fun thing that um, I do with my homeroom students mainly. And then I just started getting a lateral thinking puzzles one together. But kind of going back to the one where I have more tiles, it's really user friendly. Um, and you can, this box in the middle, kind of tailor to what it is that you want it to be. But if you have something you want to add, you just click on the tile and it will say add tile. And then you can see these drop down things here. You can select the color, put in the web address, select whether it's a website or different kind of sources. You can name it, um, you know, passports or different things like I have over here using cell phones, brain teasers. Um, those are just quick ways for me to remember what it was that the link was about. And then you have more color options over here. Oh, let me go back to that. And then searching a tile, if you get to the point where you have lots of different bookmarks and you're not sure where it's at, you can search for them that way too. And so this was really about it, just a quick overview of Symbaloo. And yeah, I'm really excited to use it this next school year, and I hope it allows me to organize my bookmarks so I don't forget to do the cool things that I have found throughout the year. I know a lot of teachers share information. Our department head at the middle school, Lance Mosier, is awesome about sending um, the seventh grade team links and different games and websites and really cool video clips to use in our classes throughout the year. But if I have already done that unit or the unit is a really long ways away, I bookmark it when he gives it to me or put it in a Word document and then forget all about it. So my goal this year is to organize, the, organize these by the different units that I have, and that way I'm not forgetting about the awesome resources that have been given to me. So that's it. Thanks for watching.